Trade Association Oval here in sunny Singapore. It's ICC World 2025 World Asia Final. Crucial day with Nepal taking on Nepal Kuwait. One win, one loss. Vijay De Silva meet Bavsa, the two openers for Kuwait. They gave Kuwait a wonderful start against Qatar yesterday, resulting in a massive total of 197, the biggest of the tournament thus far. They'll be hoping for a repeat performance. Sompal Kami taking the new ball from the Ballastia Road end. He's been in good form in this tournament. He'll be looking for an early strike. We are all set here. There's a slip, backward point, cover, extra cover, and a mid off. And on the leg side, there's a mid on, mid wicket, and a fine leg. Ravija de Silva on strike. Sompal Kami. First ball. Driven straight back. Stumps at the umpire's end. Acting as the 12th fielder for Nepal. Might have been interesting had Kami got a finger to that one. Meet Bavsa. Backing up. Looking to get a single. Quick single scampered through. Slight misfield at backward point. Quaid 
on the way. Left-hander meet buffs up. Played ideal foil to Avija De Silva yesterday. The field remains pretty much the same. Wide third man, backward point, point cover, mid off, a mid on backward square leg, and a deep fine leg. So Palkami to Bavsa. So generating good pace here, Kami bending his back, hitting the deck hard, and the IA wicket responding. Good lift and carry to the wicket keeper. Beats Bavza outside off stump. Nepali skipper back on the park. Good to see him. Paris Katka. Very important figure. Opening batsman in this Nepal setup. Bavza makes room for himself. Carves it backward pass point. Four runs. Very effective shot. It was a good ball by Sompal Kami. Credit goes to Bavsa for making room. More importantly, find the gap behind backward point for four runs. There's a solitary slip in the cordon, standing at almost the second slip position. Seem to be having a conscious plan bowling to Bavsa. On this occasion, leaning into it, can't beat the offside cordon. It's a well fortified offside ring by Nepal there. Pasant Rejmi, Karan Casey, Deependra Singh Airi forming an impregnable ring from cover to backward point. Third man comes fine as we speak. Flicked away, wide of mid on for a single. Slightly wild throw there. At the end of the first over, Kuwait six for the loss of no wicket. like Karan KC from the far end the Sarangoon road end marking his run up Nepal going with pace at both ends Kuwait wouldn't mind that they like the ball coming on to the bat both meet Bavsa and Ravija De Silva stroke players they'll be looking to get Kuwait off to a flyer in the power play overs Karan Casey's got a slip. Back of point, cover, extra cover. Mid off, mid on, deep backward square leg. And a short fine leg. Sandeep Lamishane having a little stretch. At short fine leg, he'll be looking on eagerly to get the ball in his hand to do the business for Nepal later on but right now it's current KC to meet Bavsa he aborts
Short. He's given him. Karen Casey strikes. Meet Bavsa hangs on to his shoulder. Looking to indicate to the umpire that he might have not gotten any wood on that. But what's more important is the man that matters. Tabaragda signals Meet Bavsa on his way. Nepal striking early with the first delivery of the second over. Karan Casey doing the business for Nepal here. Kuwait lose their first wicket. Be interesting to see a replay on that. Swanadin Kalidas and Tabarak Da, two very experienced umpires educating this game. By Buddhi Pradhan, standby umpire. The match referee is Mr. Manu Naya from India. Experienced officials. Adnan Idris, the dangerous Adnan Idris, walks out for Kuwait. Had an absolute blistering half century the other day on the man of the match in Kuwait's victory over Qatar. Takes guard. Current Casey, he'll be pumped up. What a wonderful start to his spell. Striking with the very first delivery. Bowling good pace here. Straight away, Adnan Idris stands tall on his toes and guides that pass backward point. Beats the field at third man. Four runs. Controlled yet effective. Seems to be in good touch, Adnan Idris. Quaid would want him to kick on. Nepal would want to see the back of him as early as possible. This is turning out to be a very good contest. Once again, an outside edge flies down to third man. Tell you what, this outfield is lightning quick. There's great value for shots. Chief Curator, Mr. Kareem, the Facilities Manager, Mr. Mahesh Kumar, have done a wonderful job here. This ICC World T20 Qualifiers Asia Finals, what a wonderful tournament this has been. From action-packed T20 cricket. Today being a Saturday, it's a big crowd expected, even though hosts Singapore are not playing today. Ravija De Silva works it away to back with square leg for a single. This is smart batting. Idris is motoring along. Be good to give him the strike. Both these two batsmen, natural stroke players, like to hit the ball on the rise. And the IEA wicket. Consistent and nicely coming on to the bat. Nani Dree is not ready. Current Casey will have to re bowl that one. It's good to see a slip being employed. Wide slip almost at second slip position. Current Casey generating good heat on this track. Pins Adnan Idris on the crease. Safely played. What Kuwait should look to do is 
minimize dot balls. That's what haunted Qatar the other day. They should also look to run aggressively between the wickets. So when Nepal gets on the park, that's what they'll do. It's another wonderful delivery. Current Casey giving nothing away. Bowling an excellent line and length. The end of the second over, Kuwait 12 for the loss of one wicket. Kuwaiti manager, Mr. Mahmoud Abdullah, taking a little stroll around the park. Wonderful gentleman, had an opportunity to have a chat with him yesterday. Out at dinner with all the officials. Seem to be enjoying their stay here in Singapore. Sompal Kami continues from the Ballastier Road end. He'll be bowling to Ravija de Silva. It's a good delivery. The Nepal opening bowlers hitting good areas here, giving nothing away. The match very much even at this juncture. Kuwait going at six runs per over. Ravi Jadi Silva finds the gap. Leans back and punches it past the bowler between mid on four runs. That shot had a bit of Calypso in it. It was a good delivery. Extremely well put away there by Ravi de Silva. Sompal Kami straight away going slightly fuller. Seems to have a very good seam position, jagging the ball back in off the surface. Ravi de Silva doing well to keep his pads out of the way. Sompal Kami bowling good heat here. Once again, excellent delivery. Ravi de Silva with soft hands playing it into the covers. Deependra Singh Iri patrolling the cover region. No chance of a single. Sweeps in, picks it up. It's like a panther. Lightning quick. Magnificent shot. Single to deep backward square leg. Pulled around the corner. Travija de Silva. Almost going into the hands of deep backward square leg. The ball falling safely between three fielders. So Kami really generating some good heat here out on the IA Park, bending his back. Got a beautiful run up. That's an excellent Yorker. Dani Dries did well to keep it out. It's a brilliant over there. At the end of three, create 17 for the loss of one wicket.
It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Singapore. The crowd slowly starting to build up. Nepal's got good support in this part of the world. Ravi De Silva to face up to Karan KC from the Sarangoon Road end. That's a magnificent shot. It's got more height than distance. Driving it on the up. Gets it to long on for two. Would have ideally liked to punch that straight. I think he's aiming for those short straight boundaries here at the IA Oval. This is turning out to be a wonderful contest. Both teams not giving an inch. Once again, drifting on the pads, Karan Casey flicked away to deep square leg. He's got cover back there. I think Ravi J. Silva will be disappointed. Couldn't place that ball better. The fine leg fielders up in the circle. Paras Katka done a great job here. He's got all his men in the right places. Oh, once again, Apesh. Dan Idris survives, flashes away. Pass backward point. Beats the third man fielder to the boundary for four runs. Kuwait wouldn't mind that one bit. Basant Rejmi diving to his left. Cannot prevent that boundary. And on this occasion, Idris finds the gap, piercing the offside cordon through extra cover, four runs. He's got his own unique style, trusts his hands, does not believe much in footwork. Who needs footwork when you can hit it like that? Magnificent shot, four runs. Kuwait now looking to get a move on. Two boundaries in this over. And a couple and a single. 11 runs already off it. Current KC charging in. Intelligently played. Getting right behind the line of that ball. Dani Dries. Showing that he's got the defense to go with the offense. He's a dangerous player for Kuwait. Kuwait would love for him to continue and kick on deep into their innings. Nepal, on the other hand, they would like to see the back of him as early as possible. Paras Katka, he might even go the spinners. Wonder whether he missed a trick. Bowling pace from both ends. Current KC charges in. Digs it in short. And that's a bit of a wild throw. And this is not very good. Four overthrows conceded. I believe it might even be five. Deependra Singh Irie letting it rip. I think it was just four overthrows. As the batters hadn't crossed for the first run. Quite unnecessary. Every run is gold dust. Nepal can ill afford to give such luxuries away. Kuwait wouldn't mind that one bit. At the end of four overs, Kuwait 32 for the loss of one wicket. Looks like Sompal Kami to continue from the Ballastia Road end. The utilization of pace at both ends 
almost playing into the hands of Kuwait. They like the ball coming on. Two right-handers in. Might have been worth going to Sandeep Lamishane early on, but that's the way Nepal likes to do things. Once again, oh, it's a brilliant bit of fielding. Sharad Visaka, experienced man, putting in the dive. Nepal, an outstanding fielding unit. Certainly saved three runs for his side. So, Paul Kami drifting on the pads. Adani Dries almost finding the gap. Ravija De Silva. Punts it over mid wicket. Barely clears the short mid wicket fielder. This is very good running between the wickets. Adani Dries charging back for the second. There's some real urgency here in the running between the wickets. I think they have taken a lesson from their game against Qatar yesterday. Even having posted 197 runs, Qatar managed to come very, very close within striking distance. And had they taken the singles, they might have even won yesterday. Once again, a very good delivery by Sompal Kami. Picks the ball up. Throws it back at the batsman's end. The timber goes flying. Quite unnecessary. Could have resulted in four more overthrows. But that's the way Nepal plays their cricket. Full of passion. Wonderful to see. But the game played in the best of spirits. This ICC World T20 Qualifiers Asia Final. Bit of passion and aggression, always good. Nobody crossing the lines here. The game continues. So Palkami banging it in short, one for the over. And that was an intelligent delivery. So Palkami looking for a dot ball. Might have realized that Ravija Silva is deep in his crease, looking for the pitched up Yorker. Banks one in short, wins a dot ball. Once again, short, fucked away to mid wicket. That would have been curtains had it hit. Ravija Silva had given up mid pitch. The only direct hit on the stumps looks to be coming from the bowlers. Line in Ramalla there, a short mid wicket, swooped in on that delivery. That's another short ball <coughs> to end the over. At the end of five overs, Kuwait 37 for the loss of one wicket. Steady start here by Kuwait. They would want to keep wickets in hand. And at the same time, build momentum and build a platform from which they can launch later on. Basant Rejmi comes on from the Sarangoon Road end. Bowled a brilliant spell the other day. Bowled his four overs for like 14 runs. Also picked up a wicket. His excellent control over his left arm orthodox deliveries. A very consistent action. It's very accurate. Reminds me of my countryman Rangana Herath. Very economical action. F 
struck straight away. Raj De Silva looks to take him on, dances down the track, misses it altogether, and has his leg stump uprooted. It's a fantastic arm ball. Rajmi once again proving his worth. Brilliant bowling here. Delivering for Nepal straight away. And that's the impact that spin has had on the Kuwaiti batsman. Paras Katka going to his spinners in the final over of the power play and gets a result immediately. Bilal Tahir walks out to join Nani Dries. Just as Kuwait was looking to build momentum, Basan Rejmi has thrown a spanner in the works. Bilal Tahir, the left hander. Basan Rejmi. Continues to come around the wicket. It's good to see Paras Katka himself standing at the solitary slip. The new ball is more likely to hold its line and proceed with the arm, especially given the angles with Rajmi's implementing here. Bilal Tahir adopting a very open stance. Adnan Idris ball watching. Could have had a disastrous effect there. Punch down to wide mid off there by Tahir for a single to get off the mark straight away. That's one aspect of Adnan Idris' game that he'll really need to focus on. Running between the wickets. Now they have the slip for the right hand as well, which I think is a very good idea. Nepal looking to impose themselves. The slight change in the field. It's a backward point, point, cover, extra cover, and a long off. And on the leg side, there's a deep backward square leg, mid wicket, and a long on. Rajmi continues. It's an excellent delivery. The ball ending exactly where the field is set. Those are signs of a classy bowler. The segment behind point has been reinforced. As we speak, another change in the field. Deep backward square leg coming in. And a cow corner going back. Nepal seems to have spent a lot of time with the analyst. They feel that that's the trap to set for Adnan Idris. Rajmi pitches it up. Adnan Idri says, thank you very much. I'll take you over the offside. Four runs. Geez, I love watching this batsman play. Absolute entertainment. Front foot out of the way. Made it look easy. Punch the ball over the cover ring. The lightning quick outfield does the rest. This is very good batting. Nani Dries counter-attacking despite the loss of that wicket. This is excellent T20 cricket. Basant Rejmi drops it slightly short. Hammered away. Pass mid on for another four. Nani Dries taking the attack. To Rejmi here. Rajmi trying too many things, I feel now. It's bowling a very consistent line and length before.
And on this occasion, hits it up in the air. This could be out. It is out. Wonderful catch. Rajmi strikes back. And I must say, this is not very intelligent cricket. Nanidri is already having collected two boundaries in the over. Going for the lofted off drive. And that looked like Sharad Visavaka patrolling the long off boundary, coming around, ran at least 20 meters, made it look extremely easy. Beautiful catch. Rajmi strikes again. This is absolutely interesting and entertaining T20 cricket. Both teams exchanging blows one for one. Nobody willing to take a step back. Nepal will be very pleased with the proceedings. Sandeep Lamishane not yet even into the attack. The Nepal bowlers thus far managed to pick three wickets. And as we speak, Sandeep Lamishane comes on at the Ballastier Road end. Nepal's star spinner. Mohamed Aslam walks in to join Bilal Tahir at the middle for Kuwait. Kuwait would be looking for a partnership. And at the very least, some sensible batting. Nepal, on the other hand, they'll be delighted with proceedings. Been very impressed with this young man, Sandeep Lamishane. Possesses excellent control, variations, and he bowls a rapid leg break. Straight away, finds his mark. Mohamed Aslam safely behind that, presenting the full face of the bat. On this occasion, guides it to deep backward square leg. This time, Nepal has a slip straight away for Lamishane. That's the trick they missed against Qatar. Paris Katka Bilal Tahir the left hand on strike there's a long leg short mid wicket deep mid wicket and a long on long off extra cover backward point Bilal Tahir plays it away to deep backward square leg for a single. The field changes for the right hander. It's a long on. Deep backward square leg. Deep mid wicket. And a short fine leg. On the offside, there's the slip backward point. Cover, sweeper cover, and a long off. Quaidy batsman running the first one hard. The Bainter Singh Airy in from fine leg. Cuts off any possibility of a second. Sompal Kami patrolling the long off, long on boundary. For the left hand and right hand respectively. Another very good fielder. Nepal an excellent fielding unit.
Lamishane on this occasion, insisting that he has the slip, which I think is a very good idea. And on this occasion, magnificent shot. Bilal Tahir deposits Lamishane over the pavilion. Made it look absolutely effortless. Front foot out of the way, bang, six. Paras Gatka straight away down to his young bowler, telling him exactly what he needs him to do. And asked him, young man, what's the field you require? In the process, we seem to have lost yet another kookaburra. There's a few of them on the trees here in Singapore, even though it's not the native bird. Sandeep Lamishane, see how he responds to that stroke. He's continuing to have the slip, which I must say is the right thing. Ball's an excellent delivery, faster, flatter into the surface. It's a dot ball. At the end of seven overs, Kuwait 55 for the loss of three wickets. This match very evenly poised at the moment. One might say Nepal with a slight advantage, but the way Kuwait plays their cricket, they'll keep hammering away. Loss of wickets, irrelevant. It's a beehive of activity here. The officials box at IA, international media. Reporters, it's all happening. Rajmi continues from the Sarangoon Road end. Mohammad Aslam on strike. This is very good batting, looking for the single. Kain Indramala unable to pick up cleanly. Where the batsman cross over safely. Could have been interesting had he picked it up cleanly. He's a brilliant fielder, guy in Ramallah. Nepal, brilliant fielding unit as a team. Pride themselves on excellent standards of fielding. Bilal Tahir has got his front foot right out of the way. Bit of fielding of his own bowling there, Rajmi. Tumbling to his right. Stockily built character. Wonderful chap off the park. The opportunity to speak to him at the hotel. Enjoys his cricket and has been enjoying his stay here in Singapore. All teams have been. Singapore, wonderful host city for international events. On this occasion, the ICC World T20 Qualifiers Asia Final. Slightly wide. Once again, magnificent bit of fielding, a direct hit. The pain dressing Irie. The real live wire. Kumar Powdell was the fielder on that occasion. With the direct hit. 
Magnificent fielding. Gainendra Malla flings himself to the right. I tell you what, I enjoy watching Nepal field as much as I enjoy watching any other team bat or bold. They are brilliant. And this is the way you should field in a T20 international. This is the way you should field, period. Excellent young side. Regime now. And on this occasion, it's a direct hit once more. Quady Batsman living dangerously. Mohamed Aslam would fancy buying the lottery this afternoon. He's managed to survive. Deep interesting Irie once again, dead eye from covers. Warm welcome to all our viewers tuning in from Singapore and around the world. This broadcast is coming live to you courtesy of the Singapore Cricket Association. The ICC World T20 Qualifiers Asia Finals happening at the IA Oval on Balestier Road, Singapore. A wonderful tournament. This has been excellent cricket on offer. Rajmi continues. Aslam punches it to deep mid-wicket looking for two. Wonderful bit of fielding once again. Kumar Powdell steaming in from the deep mid-wicket boundary, keeping it to one. At the end of eight overs, Kuwait. Fifty-eight for the loss of three wickets. It's been a very pleasant morning. Cotton wool skies. The sun absolutely shining through. The IEO Oval bathed in sunshine. Wonderful for cricket. Fans coming in. Umbrellas, ice creams, it's all happening. Sandeep Lamshane to continue proceedings from the Ballastia Road end. Still got that slip, which is great to see. Had a chat to him and asked him why he shouldn't have a slip every time he's bowling. That's a very good shot. Aslam waiting, placing it expertly to sweep up, rotating the strike. This is good batting by Kuwait here, ensuring there's minimum dot balls. And the slip seemed to have disappeared to the left hander. Bilal Tahir smashes it to deep mid wicket. By Kalidas asking the fielder, and it signaled four runs. Well, we're still waiting for a decision, and it is finally signaled four runs. Well, Bilal Tahir seemed to have taken a liking to Sandeep Lamishane. His last two balls have conceded 10 runs. Might have been last three. And on this occasion, Skies won. And that's the end of Bilal Tahir. Sandeep Lamishane showing his class. Bilal Tahir showing his lack of application. Once again, Kuwait not assessing the situation, having taken a boundary and a single off this over already, shouldn't have gone for yet another. Lamishane with his expert variations, bowled it slightly flatter and into the surface. Bilal Thayer ended up giving the simplest of catches to Paras Gatka. Makes no mistake. Usman Wahid, the wicketkeeper. 
walks in to join Muhammad Aslam at the center. They seem to have crossed over while the ball was in the air. So Muhammad Aslam will be facing Sandeep Lamishani. Who's got amongst the wickets now. And straight away pins pins Aslam back with the googly. He seemed very convinced. Sompal Kami still seems convinced. But the man that matters, umpire Kalidas, remains unmoved. I must say that looked very close. But what matters is what the umpire thinks. He thought it was slightly high. The umpiring standards have been excellent and consistent right throughout this tournament. And on this occasion, Aslam backs away and cuts it to deep point for a single. But what a wonderful first delivery. Pinned Aslam there on the back foot with a faster googly. And for the new man, Usman Wahid, the slip comes in. Sompal Kami has been invited in from the long off boundary. He's given him. Struck straight away, Sandeep Lamshane. Umpire Kalidas judging Usman Wahid LBW. Usman Wahid certainly taking the slow stroll back to the pavilion. Seem to think otherwise. That brings out the Kuwaiti skipper, Mohamed Kashif, to the center. I think he's the ideal man for Kuwait to have at this moment. I think they would have sent the left-hander ahead of Kashif to negate the threat of Sandeep Lamishane, the leg spinner. Sandeep Lamishane going the other way with most of them, and on this occasion, the strategy paying rich dividends. Quaid 64 for the loss of five wickets at the end of nine overs. They would do well not to lose any further and take this innings deep into the 17th. Looks like pace once more from the Sarangoon Road end. Abhinash Bohara, it's the change of the bowling. Mohamed Aslam tucks it away to backward square leg for a single. Mohamed Kashif has been in very good form for Kuwait throughout this tournament. Very intelligent cricketer. Excellent batsman. It's good application. Good cricket sense. He'll be facing Bohara. Kane Indramala sweeping in from backward point. Ghana Indramal the other day getting a fabulous half century 51 of 21. Turn becoming the fastest half century maker 
for Nepal in T20 internationals. Fifth overall to do so. Bohara pitches it up. Kashif drills it to Deependra Singh Airi. Patrolling the cover ring. They're at extra cover. There's a third man, sweeper cover, backward point, extra cover, and a long off on the offside. Short fine leg, deep backward square leg, mid wicket, and a long on. Completes the field on the onside. That's an excellent Yorker. Rashiv digs it out and punts it to long on for a single. That's a wonderful shot. Bohara drifting on the pads. Mohammad Aslam expertly finds the gap between short fine leg and deep backward square leg. Puts it away for four. That's asking for trouble. And one thing that I see all teams doing is having their helmet behind the wicket keeper. I for the life in me cannot understand that when you have substitute players who can easily take that off. Every time, one needs to understand that if the ball hits that, that's five runs gifted away. Bohara, to another Yorker, punched down the ground to long on for a single. That's the end of a good over. Great 71 for the loss of five wickets. The end of the halfway mark of the innings. Shane to continue from the Ballastier Road end. Been bowling excellently thus far. The star leg spinner from Nepal. <coughs> Mohamed Aslam batting very intelligently here. Rotating a single. Kashif elegantly drives it to long off for yet another single. The five wickets to fall for Kuwait are Sandaruan for 15, Meet Bavsa for 5, Adnan Idris for 25, Bilal Tahir for 13. And Usman Wahid for a golden duck. Quack, quack. Great continuing. The run rate of slightly above seven runs and over. They would be looking to get at least 170 on this track. Looks a very good surface for batting. Nepal would ideally like to keep them below 140. And chase it down quickly to impact their run rate as well. Kashif works it off his pads to deep mid wicket. And in Ramallah doing the patrolling of the deep mid wicket boundary. <coughs> A 
that beats everyone. Buy signaled. Short third man, backward point. Cover, sweeper cover, and a long off. The offside, long on. Deep mid wicket, deep backward square leg, and a short fine leg on the leg side. Sandeep Lamishane. Bowling to Kashif. Place it safely behind. That's the end of the 11th over. Kuwait 76 for the loss of 5 wickets. Basant Rajmi replacing Bohara from the Sarangoon Road end. Bowling to Normal Aslam. Punch it away to deep mid wicket for a single. Kashif hits the marker at long off, keeps rotating the strike, collecting a single. Nepal wouldn't mind the singles at this moment. That's a very close delivery. Mohamed Aslam trying to paddle it down to the vacant long leg region. Basant Rajmi drops it short, cut away to sweep a cover for a single. Another good delivery. Mohamed Kashif. Gets safely behind that one. No run conceded. And on this occasion, runs it down to long one for a single. That's the end of another over. At the end of 12, great 80 for the loss of 5 wickets. Paris Katka marshalling his troops well. Looking like he's going back to pace. I think he's looking to pick up a wicket here. This is very good captaincy. He's gone back to his quick man Sompal Kami from the Ballastia Road end this will be the final over of his spell Rajmi's got one remaining Karan Kesi with two Lamishani with one and Bohara with three
That's a magnificent shot. Kashif stands tall and drills the ball back past the bowler for four. Love watching this young man bat. He's got great temperament. Plays shots all around the dial. More importantly, he's been a consistent performer. Wonderful cricket. Let's see how Sompal Kami responds. Looking for the Yorker. Good diving attempt there by the Nepali skipper Paras Katka at long off. Couldn't prevent the boundary from going over. He's dropped it. They're looking for oh the wicket keeper. We know Bandari attempting to throw the stumps down. At the bowler's end, Mohamed Kashif makes it. Very good slow bouncer there by Sompal Kami. Kashif looking to duck away and at the last moment, ramping it. Bandari getting a glove to it. This is excellent cricket. High octane cricket here today at the IA Oval. ICC World T20 Qualifiers Asia Final producing some marvellous cricket. So Umpal Kami to Mohamed Aslam. Mohamed Aslam batting very intelligently looking for the single. Once again, punching it on the offside, running through for a quick single. Dipendra Singh Airi swooping in on that, unable to prevent the one. Good bit of backing up there. By Lamishane prevents an overthrow. This is excellent cricket here. And on this occasion, Mohamed Aslam plays it to long on. And that's the end of the over by Sompal Kami. A good spell. Quit 88 for the loss of 5 wickets at the end of 13. Sompal Kami. Sending down his four overs for 24 runs. Bowling 11 dot balls and conceding three boundaries in the spell. On this lightning quick outfield, straight short boundaries. If you can bowl at six runs and over, I think you've done a good job for your skipper. Especially bowling inside the power plays as well. <coughs> Abhinash Bohara. Comes back into the attack from the Sarangoon Road end. Paris Kadka rotating his bowlers around, marshalling his troops, been doing a wonderful job. We know Bandari, the wicket keeper, helping the skipper out, adjusting the angles. And on this occasion, magnificently played Mohamed Aslam, waiting for that ball, placing it behind backward point, beats third man on the boundary, four runs, geez this outfield is lightning quick, that was nothing more than a gentle guide. Kuwait should now ensure 
that that start does not go waste should build up the momentum now scampering through for a quick single good running between the wickets Mohammad Aslam has played a good hand for Kuwait here coming in when wickets were falling around in heaps all around him scoring a runner ball 23 thus far skipper Kashif on strike elegantly played to long on wristy player that shot reminded me of the late great Mohammed Azruddin skipper of India wonderful wristy player himself played that ball from outside off stump made it look easy Kashif quality player Bohara beating the outside edge and on this occasion excellent catch by Basant Rejmi diving full stretch from third man running in he's a roly-poly unit but he does look like he's lightning on the ground brilliant fielding all round by Nepal ball outside off stump Mohammed Aslam after playing a wonderful hand perishes with a loose shot chasing one way outside of stump managing only a top edge a wonderful catch by Basant Rejmi diving full stretch forward they're never easy when you're diving forward he made it look easy the Nepal fielding an entertainment package by itself this is wonderful cricket ladies and gentlemen if you're anywhere nearby do come down to the IA Oval in Ballester Road the ICC World T20 qualifiers Asia finals kicking up some wonderful T20 live action Kuwait 94 for the loss of six wickets we are in the 14th over Abhinash Bohara Looks like Shiraz Khan has made it out to the middle. It's greeted by a wonderful Yorker. The Nepali contingent supporting their team here. Believes that was a catch. A crowd catch, as they say. At the end of 14 overs. 94 for the loss of six wickets another change in the bowling Sandeep Lamshane comes on from the Ballastia Road end Paras Gatka doing a wonderful job regularly rotating his bowlers not allowing Kuwait to settle into any sort of rhythm it's an extremely important facet of captaincy especially in the shorter format of T20 cricket Starts off with a wonderful delivery. Shiraz Khan, big unit. A 
Captain Kashif glides it to short third man. Lamishani not happy about the single being conceded. Looks like current Casey there at short third man. Straight away having a slip for the new batsman. This is wonderful to see. This is excellent bowling by Sandeep Lamshani, giving nothing away. Bowling at a good pace here, bowling it into the deck, keeping it wide outside off stump, not allowing the batsman to get underneath it. Kashif lets that one go, look like he read the googly. He's bowled him. Sandeep Lamishane strikes. That's the end of Shiraz. Excellent delivery. Set him up with two leg breaks and a googly. This time it looked like the flipper. It's done him for pace off the track. Shiraz Khan. Did not demonstrate any great footwork. Just stood there in the crease and had a tentative prod at it. Pace with his wicket. That's the seventh wicket down for Kuwait. In the 15th over. 95 runs on the board. Mohamed Hassan Nasir. Big opening bowler for Kuwait. Strolled out in his cap. He's a very bubbly character. Enjoys his cricket. He's been around a long time. He's facing the challenge of Sandeep Lamishane. Lamishane might be looking to pin him LBW straight away. Balls wide outside the leg stump. That's a wide delivery. So I get the feeling the setup is coming. Giving Nasir the feeling of the ball going wide outside of stump. Look to pin him with the one that's coming back straight. Nasir up to the challenge. Gets behind it safely. And then he practices the golf swing after that might employ it further down. Kuwait 9-6 for the loss of 7 wickets at the end of 15 overs. KC oh, Curran comes into the attack from the Sarangoon road end. Bowled two overs for 21 before this in the power play. It was slightly expensive. I'd like to make amends. Paris Katka employing spin and pace at either end. Mohamed Kashif playing a lonely hand once again. His batting partners seem to be deserting him. But the man from the deserts of Kuwait, he should be used to this one. He's taking the challenge on himself. He's been a wonderful player for Kuwait right throughout this tournament. Consistent performer. Can he finish it off strongly? 
Karan Casey puts down the big number 14s on the ball prevents the ball going through for a single Kuwait lo losing wickets at regular intervals ensuring that any sort of momentum they build keeps getting stifled that might even be close to a wide indeed signal divide Karan Casey testing the bounce of the IA pitch gets the feedback it bounces above the shoulder this time above the head to Baragda V Kalidas the two gentlemen umpiring this game standard of umpiring been very consistent throughout Kashif punts it down in front of cover for a single <laughs> Basant Rejmi fires that throw in nearly nailing Asan Nasir who was innocently looking to grab a helmet good thing he had the helmet on otherwise we would have had an international incident <laughs> Deep third man, backward point, sweeper cover, extra cover and a mid off. And on the leg side, have a deep fine leg, deep backward square, mid wicket and a long on. Current KC bowling to Asan Nasir. Short, guided away expertly to third man. Asan Nasir using his experience. This is exactly what is required. All he needs to do is get his skipper on strike and enjoy proceedings from the non striker's end. Current KC, I think that might even be called a no ball. This is quite silly actually, conceding a free hit, quite unnecessary. Banging it in short, especially when both your fine leg and square leg are up in the circle. And on this occasion, Ashif comes down on one knee. Paras Gatka at extra cover, making sure it's kept to a single. Kuwait goes past 100. we are having four overs after this. The only concern being there are seven wickets down. The skipper Kashif not really able to take any undue risk and afford Ahmed Nasir looking for another single turned down by Kashif On this occasion, steals a single to backward point. Hassan Nasir responds. I'm a bit confused here myself. Kashif turned down the previous single, but on this occasion, off the last ball of the over, decided to take the single. Should have been ideal had he maintained the strike, but now Hassan Nasir will face the threat of 
Pasant Rejmi. Been really impressed with the way Rejmi has bowled throughout this tournament. It's been penetrative and controlling at the same time. And add to that, very entertaining fielding. There's a short third man, backward point, cover, sweeper, cover, long off. Long on, deep mid wicket, deep backward square, and a short fine leg. Pasan Rejmi is bowling to Asan Nasir. Asan Nasir tapping away. Does exactly what he's supposed to, gets a single. Shift drills it down to long off. Yet another single. Nepal wouldn't be minding the singles at this juncture. We are into the 17th over. Kuwait would ideally be looking for a few lusty hits. Sanas here. 